world as we know it does not exist without struggle. Our civilization is under constant assault from forces we would once have called the powers of hell. In truth, these forces are far more ancient than Christianity. More ancient than any religion that has left its trace upon our species' soul. It is evil incarnate, and it has been working to destroy our highest aspirations, our faith in love and light, since we came into being. But we do not dare name this evil. To do so would be to admit to its presence in our world. To acknowledge that its servants walk the same streets that we walk, and its overlords, depraved, corrupt, and hungry for our flesh and our destruction, are hidden in the empty wastes of our planet, awaiting the day of mankind's execution. Only one power stands between us and universal death. Warrior magicians, who have dedicated their lives to our protection. Most of us will never know their names, nor the battlefields where they wage their secret wars, nor will we ever honor their dead. But they are with us, always. Armed, vigilant, and ready to die for another tomorrow. Jericho. They are called Jericho. They know all too well what the enemy is capable of. That before our species perishes, we will be tortured into madness, devoured alive. And they will do all in their power to protect us from such atrocities. If the world exists tomorrow, now you know why. Jericho. An ancient city emerged from the sands of time, bringing with it the seed of all evil. Rawlings, Church, Cole, secure the entrance. The rest of you with me. Signal from the Swiss Guard Recon Squad? Yeah, but I can't get a lock. It's getting close, but there's lots of interference. That's never a good sign. Felt it too. When? Oh shit. Okay. I'll see you at the airfield. They call us the Jericho Squad. We are the top secret combat arm of the U.S. Army Chaplain's Corps. 
As far as the government is concerned, we don't exist. Each of us is a specialist in one of the arcane arts. The army calls what we do covert occult warfare. It's just a fancy euphemism for witches with guns. There was a time when the church would have burned people like us as heretics and monsters. Now, we fight their wars for them. Not much of a view, is it? But somewhere down there is the cause of 4,000 years of human conflict. Name any conqueror. Napoleon? Kublai Khan? They've all fought and bled for Al-Khali. It may well be the oldest city in human history. It's also ground zero for Operation Vigil. The rest is strictly need to know. And for the moment, you don't. Vigil was my first assignment with the department. Recognize that cheerful fellow beside me? Arnold Leach. Our old friend. This was taken back in 62, before we had any idea what he was capable of. Ritual murders in Baltimore, gas attacks in Sydney, and those poor kids in London. You got it. Anyway, Leach and his so-called Brotherhood of the Dark Rapture have been trying to gain access to Al-Khali for nearly 20 years. It seems that two days ago, he finally gave up on subtlety. Where'd you get these? Remote viewers at Langley got some psychographic images out before Leach shut him down. Okay, we'll run this just like the Glamis breach a few years ago. Cole scans for temporal anomalies? No, no, this isn't the same, not even close. Trust me when I tell you that the team has never faced anything like this before. What's the plan? Infiltrate the dig site and neutralize Leach and his cronies before they can open the breach. Now, Colonel Acklin of the Swiss Guard is providing perimeter security. He'll give us a sit rep once we're on the ground. Wake up, Frank. <sighs> we there yet? God, I hate the fucking desert. Pretend it's the beach. What the hell is that? It's happening again. This is where it all started. Help me. Hold on, this is gonna get rough. Captain, there are no reports of sandstorm activity in this area. This is not a natural phenomenon, sir. This is as close as we get. That wind will snap this bird in two. We'll take it from here! Safe flying! See you at the LZ. You waiting for an invitation, Jericho? Go, go, go! Sumerian, but the writing's Aramaic. Ancient taggers? Well, that are art critics. What's it say? <laughs> Help wanted. The gateway to paradise is unlocked with the souls of the innocent and the blood of gods. So, which are we? 
Well, we're not gods. Speak for yourself. Shit! It was a joke! I think you'll live. Mm. Lunch, anyone? What a mess. What happened to our storm? Fuck the storm, man. What happened to the daylight? This, ladies and gentlemen, is the lost city of Al Kali. Feeling anything, Jones? No, not exactly. It's more like everything's just sort of... Empty. I was going to say dead. Cole, do a comm sweep for me. See if you can bring up command. I want to call in a sit rep and see what's happening. Jericho, take cover! U.S. Army, halt! Show me your hands! Easy, guys. They could be friendlies. They're not stopping. Ross, you need to look at this. What you got? I, I don't think they're alive, sir. Permission to fire! Hold fire! Bullshit, man! Look at him! He said hold fire! Oh, my God. Ah! Jesus! Hostiles neutralized. Cole, how are you doing on that SID rep? There's nothing, sir. I've done a full sweep. Other than our own radios, we are completely cut off. We should abort. It's just temporal distortion, nothing we haven't dealt with before. Stick to the plan. Jones, take Alpha and do some recon. Do not engage without backup. Back here in one hour. Omega, let's go. So what is the plan? We find the command center and recover the surveillance data from the attack. Whatever Leech has done here, it's clear he's in over his head. If they open the breach, there's no telling what might come out. Agent Green's in charge of the facility. She can brief us when we find her. Ice crystals. The ground's frozen. A blood sigil? That's serious magic. It makes sense, doesn't it? If they knew they were under attack, they'd have rites and incantations in place to lock the facility down. Can you unbind it? Sure can. This is one of ours. You might want to step back a bit. You should hurry. I don't know how long before it closes again. You don't want to be halfway through when it does, know what I mean? Rawlings, come with me. Abby, Billy, you two hang back. If that door doesn't open from the inside, I'm gonna need you to let us out. You got it, sir. Neat trick. Muriel! Drop your weapon! Don't you fucking move! Muriel, it's me, Paul. You're one of them! I know it! I said drop the goddamn gun, now! Muriel, I swear it's me, Paul Rawlings. We met in 96. I was your handler in Chechnya, then Sudan. What about Prague? Prague. Prague, 1999. New Year's Eve at the Hotel Bohemia. We danced a cold porter tune sung in Czech, then drank ourselves stupid on absinthe. Uh, I'm afraid my memory gets a bit fuzzy after that. Are you hurt? Something terrible's happened. They've already opened the breach. It's already out. What's out? What's she talking about? Operation Godseal. That's why they sent you, isn't it? 
You've got to stop it, Paul. If you don't, we've lost everything. Everyone in the world is lost. Did you manage to record the event itself? If we can pinpoint the source of the temporal distortion, we can find the breach. Ross, can you read me? I'm here. We got trouble. Alpha needs backup. What's your location? Northwest corner of the dig site. Multiple hostiles. We keep firing, but they just keep coming. Sit tight. We're on our way. Alpha needs help. We can't leave her here. I'm not asking. Abby, Billy, we're moving out. I can't raise Muriel on the radio. Cole, I need you to do some extreme data recovery. You up to it? That depends on the level of temporal distortion experienced at the site in relation to the event horizon of the breach itself. If the vortex is strong enough to cause a feedback loop, then theoretically, if the data existed, then it's always existed, sir. I have no idea what you just said. I think I can recover the data, sir. Good enough for me. Rawlings. I sent her here. I thought we needed space. I was afraid someone might find out. This is likely to cause a considerable amount of dimensional displacement, sir. You may want to step outside. Ross, we got company! Come on, motherfucker! You want some too? Right here! You Leech. Now have you been Devon? Get in my sleep. I'm gonna cook you, you piece of shit. So know then. We're closing the breach, Arnold. You can either get out of the way or we can kill you here. I'm fine either way. Standard procedure, guys? Yep, just like Glamis. Billy and Rawlings will purify the area. That won't be enough. I told you this isn't like the others. As of this moment, Operation God Seal is in effect. Doesn't it get old, Devon? Every time we make contact with something greater than ourselves, your master sets you out to destroy it. Don't you ever bother to ask yourself why? What kind of magician are you? Cole, he's spying on us, goddammit. Jam him! Sir! He's trying to stall us. Priest, you better get explaining. Operation God Seal. It's the reason Jericho exists. There's an ancient Gnostic text that speaks of a being created before man. Wait, I know this. God couldn't destroy his first creation, so he locked it away, banished from the Earth so he could start over again. Then he made mankind, and he gave us flaws to keep the balance right. But the firstborn was jealous, and its rage could not be contained. It's been waiting, accumulating power. What? You believe that apocalyptic horse shit? It doesn't matter if you believe it, there have been plenty throughout history who have. Whatever lies on the other side of the breach has been calling to Leech and others like him in the hopes that someone could set it free. Same old story. Every time we discover some fucked up ancient force, some asshole back in Langley wants us to put a collar around it and make it our pet. No, we were trying to contain it. What the fuck is that? I need you, Devon. Ross, don't go. The only way to win this is to set me free.
Oh my god, he's fucking dead. What, what do we do now? Everyone, follow me! Come on! There's the breach! Is everyone here? No, we're not all here. We lost Ross. I'm still with you. What? There's someone in there with him. I can feel it! Delgado, can you hear me? Rawlings, it's me, Ross. I don't know what happened. I think I'm in him. Put those away, damn it! It's me. Prove it! Jesus Christ, Paul. Should I tell them about Prague, or do you want to trust me on this one? Well, no shit. Where's Frank? What have you done with him? He's still here. He's just... resting. Resting my ass, puto? Get the fuck out of my head! We saw you die. Leech killed you. <laughs> Not all of me. Fascinating. I want you to try linking to Abby. Can you do that for me? Well, let's see. Abby, can you hear me? Ross? I hate this! Get out! You're smothering me! Calm down, Abby. Counting on you to get me out. It's still me, Billy. Do you want to talk to Frank? I know it's you. Hell, if it wasn't for you and Rawlings, I'd still be back in the asylum. You don't have to thank me. I'm not thanking you. That place was hell, but compared to this? Shit. At least there I could have ended it whenever I wanted. You got me into this, I'm counting on you to get me out. We clear? We're clear. If you need my blood magic, you can link to me when you need to. Just don't screw up, or you'll have to deal with Frank. Does anyone have any idea where we are? I think a more appropriate question is when we are. Captain Ross, if you need to jump to me, you have my permission. You sure you're okay with that, Cole? It's kind of, uh, invasive. You're just another network, sir. Welcome to the Path of Souls. You will contribute your face in time. Born? I don't think so. How are these assholes still alive? That was like, what, 70 years ago? 65. What about the previous squad? How did they close the breach? We don't know. They never came back out. Well, that's just fucking beautiful. Maybe they left us a note! Delgado, holster your goddamn weapon! Frank, what's wrong with you? I didn't sign up for no fucking suicide mission! If you're gonna point that at me, you better use it. What have you done? Oh, fuck! Frank, stop it! What the it. hell is wrong with you, man? Paul! Delgado, stand down! Abby, constrict him. Sir, do you think you can resurrect him? One way to find out. Everybody stand back. Took your time, didn't you? Jones, I want you to place this man under arrest. Don't do it, Jones! He's lying! What else isn't he telling us? Delgado, you accidentally discharged your weapon. That was no accident. Right, Delgado? Sure. An accident. This isn't over. You should have let them kill one another. It would have saved me the trouble. there! You are outmatched! Relinquish your souls to me, or you will suffer eternal torture. I think she wants us to surrender. Pues, at least she's kept her sense of humor. 
Licked hammer. I am Father Paul Rawlins of the United States Army Chaplain Corps. The war is over. The fatherland has fallen. Let us pass, and we will do what we can to release you and your men from this purgatory. Arrogant bastard! You dare to address me? I will tear your manhood from you and feed it to your victuals! Lictama was a powerful psychic in her own right. There's no telling what she's capable of now that she's been assimilated by the firstborn. Then we move forward. Let's just make sure we keep our eyes open. Who are you? Identify yourselves! I think they're clean, Nige. You sure? The big man there was setting things on fire. Don't fucking touch me. Well now, who's been making pacts with fire demons? Nasty business, that. You're as mad as I am. Let them go, Nige. I think they're safe. No our feelings, chum. I'm Major Patrick Buckland of the Black Watch, Office of Strategic Services, and this is Corporal Nigel Barnden. Apologies for the reception, but it's been a long time since we've seen new faces in here. Pat Buckland? The same Pat Buckland that served alongside Alistair Crowley in the OSS? You knew my father, Gideon Rawlings. We're with Jericho, same as you. Bloody hell. Then the breach is open again? Sixty-five years. <laughs> that all? Thank heavens we didn't have to wait as long as the last lot, eh? The last. You all might want to sit down for this. Nothing makes much sense here in the Pixies. None of the normal rules apply. Death, hunger, day, night. If you die, the flies take you, and when you return... Well, you may look human, but you belong to the Firstborn. You know about the Firstborn, right? God creates this thing, discovers it's too bloody powerful, and decides to wipe it off the face of the Earth. But he can't kill it, so he creates the Pixies. This box, if you like. It's like a little slice of reality was carved out as a toy box, and we're the toys. It doesn't go away, mind you. It just sits, and it waits for some poor, disillusioned bastard to set it free. But this time, it grows larger. And when mankind manages to shut it away again, it takes a little piece of our world back to its prison. And of course it waits, and it grows stronger. So the next time it gets out... It takes more of our world back with it. And each time, seven poor bastards blessed with a conjuring are sent into the breach to strike at its heart and send it away. Until the next time, that is. What was that? Unwanted guests. We'll have to continue our story some other time. We need to get you to the breach and past Jerry's defenses. Bloody hell! All right, chaps. Stay close and follow me. They built the gateway to the next level of the Pixies directly over the temple ruins. We need to get your team as close as we can. Jerry thinks he's gone and got one over on us. Little does he know that we had Private Tuck rig the whole bloody place to explode should they ever overrun us. Ready to give him a bollocking, Tuck? You know what I think? I think we're in hell. Here they come! They got Tuck! Damn! We need to trigger that detonator! Jericho, suppressing fire! Abby, think you could do anything about the detonator? Sir, I'm detecting another intersection of ley lines nearby. Right you are. He was gonna march them right through those gates there, down the path of souls, and from there... The world. Jerry's built that gate right over the top of the breach that leads deeper into the Pixis. Which means first we've got to get you through that in one piece. Looks like you're gonna have to get your hands on Lichthammer if you're gonna get out of here. I don't envy you. I think we need a new approach, lads. Why don't a team of you go after Lichthammer and the rest of us create a diversion? Maybe draw off some of the defenders. Okay, Church, Rawlings and Cole will go after Fraulein Lichthammer. The rest of you stay behind and lead the diversionary assault.
have you come to join us? We never turn down good flesh, especially not a man of God. How's your faith today, Father? I've come to have a word with you, Anna. Only if you're prepared to beg for it. It wasn't a request. Your pimp has taught you well. So obedient. Where did you ever find them, Father? Ignore her. Been doing this for 40 years and they still can't think of a single original thing to say. Original? How's this for original? The blood witch wants you with fucker the way her father did. Isn't that right? I'll take it from here. Step away from her. In nominee party. Do you think the word of God has any meaning here, Pedalus? Son of a whore! Defiler of children! I'm I defy you! That explains her reluctance to cooperate. The gateway to the next level of the Pixis. Somehow she's absorbed it. Made herself the key to opening the breach. It's inside of her. Billy, rejoin the others and help with the diversion. Now we'll take our friend here to the gateway. We need you, Billy. You're the only one skilled in sanguomancy. Ah. What do I do? Spill her blood and open the gateway. Hurry! We can't hold her much longer. He's deceived you all! Kill me and there's no way back to your world! For God's sake, do it! Please! Please! Help me, Philomena! Only my daddy called me Wilhelmina. My name's Billy. Ah. That looks like your train. Aren't you coming? Wouldn't do you much good, I'm afraid. The Firstborns had plenty of time to get to know us. It can smell us centuries away. We'd be more a liability than a help. Besides, we have to take precautions, just in case, see? In case what? In case you don't succeed. You can't close the breach. Someone's got to stay behind and make sure the next lot make it through. Such is the fate of Jericho, I'm sorry to say. Life's great reward. Sir, the breach is weakening. We need to go. Oh, and Captain, once you get on the other side, get to the fortress as fast as you can. The Templars will tell you the rest. Did he say Templars? Cole, can you give me a reading on the date? How far back have we gone? We're not gonna find out standing around here. According to planetary alignment, the year is 1213 AD, sir. Which way? Jones, you got any hunches we can follow? The riverbed feels right. Omega team, suppressing fire. Alpha team, across the bridge now. You cannot help them. They belong to the children now. The damned ones can smell your souls. It calls to them like fresh curry into a jackal. We must get you inside. This way. Stay close, brothers. What about our men? 
We're not leaving without them. You cannot help them now. Please, this way. All will be explained soon. Friends are the least of your worries. I have delivered the heathens as you requested, Your Grace. Your dedication and sacrifice to our Lord will be greatly rewarded. You and your men have earned your place in the Kingdom of Heaven a thousand times over. Don't be a jackass. He's lying. He's trying to set the Firstborn free! Silence, ah! witch! You dare address the Seraphim, Gabriel? Rise, my son. There is still much work to do for our Lord. Of course, Your Grace. It will be my honor. What will you have us do with the heretics? Leech, I want you to know, when I get out of here, I'm gonna eat your soul. Let them entertain the children. There has to be another way out of here. This just keeps getting more and more fucked up. We need to do this fast and quiet. That's your department, Church. Let me scout ahead. They won't even know I'm there. Stay back. Abby, find him. You were one of the Knights Templar, right? No Knights left here. Just blind fools and heretics. Come on, we're wasting time. We need to find a way out. There is no way out. We are in a prison inside a prison. Inside a prison. Tell me everything. Start from the beginning. In the year of our Lord, 1213. A young bishop, Malthus Sinclair, convinced Pope Innocent III that he had discovered the site for the Garden of Eden, and that it was in the hands of infidels. He volunteered to lead a crusade to take it back. And your men were sent to help him capture Alkali? On the contrary, we were sent to stop him. When word of Malthus' plot reached the Templar Knights, we left for Alkali at once. But by the time we arrived, the children, they were already dead. What children? Malthus had convinced the Pope that Christian children could not be harmed by heathen spear tip or arrow, and so a child army arrived three days before us and marched against the Saracens. The blood from their slaughter opened the breach. I'm sure you can guess the rest of this tale. We've been here ever since. I wasn't the first to lose my mind, nor the last. What about the Bishop? Oh, he's down there still, in the crypt with the children he sent to die. That place belongs to them now. If that's where your friends are, you best say a prayer and leave it at that. Fuck that. Time to go. You're coming with us. With you. Even if they'd allow it, where should I go? There's nothing outside these walls, and the countless walls beyond. If you do find your way to the next breach, uh, be sure to send my regards to the Centurion. I'm sure he's still hanging about somewhere. <laughs>
Miss me? It's okay, Simone. You're safe now. Don't touch me! You're hurt. Let me help you. I said don't fucking touch me! Everyone stay back! What the hell happened to you guys? The children. My god. So much anger, so much hatred. They wanted us to suffer as much as they suffered. It's like they were in my head, cutting from the inside. I think Cole got the worst of it. You know she has problems. Fear of the dark, fear of being touched. Fear of tight spaces? Let me talk to her. Don't talk to me! It's okay, Simone. Tell me about that number you like so much. The Golden Principle. Was that what you called it? This isn't real! Nothing here is real! How did that number go, Simone? You called it something. Fee? Phi! Phi! The divine proportion! Phi, right. How did that go? One. One point six. One eight zero three three nine eight eight. Good. Now, let's lower the gun. Seven, four, nine, eight. Eight, seven. Neat trick. What'd you do, Rebooter? Just one of the benefits of sharing a bunk with her. Now, if we could just work on the bedwetting. Did you make contact with the Templars? Oh, yeah. We had a great meeting. They think Arnold Leach and his flying circus are the Holy Seraphim. And we're the bad guys. I'm sorry I missed that. We need to find the next breach and get the hell out of here. Have you come to confess your sins, my children? We were just leaving. How dare you defile this holy place and make demands, heretic! You reek of sin! Kneel before me and be cleansed! What's he saying? Same shit they told me when I was expelled from Catholic school. And I'm gonna give him the same answer. Is karma. I think that's our cue to leave. Keep it moving! Right! I think it's safe to say we're now under Roman rule. Could be worse. At least the Romans were civilized. Oh yeah, they were real civil. I mean, besides the crucifixions, and the gladiatorial exhibitions, the slavery. And let's not forget that unfortunate incident with Christ. We are, technically speaking, chaplains. Well, you're the historian, Jones. What can you tell us about this place? Well, if Simone can get me to fix on the year... First century, sir. 38 AD. 38 AD? Wow, you sure? Uh, well, never mind, of course you are. That means it's the reign of, uh, let's see... Caligula. Yeah. How'd you know that? Call it a lucky guess. Let's see. It's the beginning of the fall of the Empire. And this is really far south for the Romans. No man's land, basically. I mean, if I was a Roman centurion and I was sent to garrison Al-Khali, it would have been like... Exile. Al-Khali is about as far from Roman law as you can get. With Emperor Caligula on the throne, I think that's a good thing, don't you? We need to keep moving. Stick to the road. You keep an eye out for Leech and his men. We're here to help you. What's your name? Mano suas in me ponat in lingua eus decam. I think he wants to communicate through Jones. H how do we know he's on our side? Yeah, fuck that. Don't do it, man. It's all right. 
Of course, if it looks like I'm in trouble... He's toast. Somebody help him! No, wait! You, you have, have come, come for the, the firstborn, firstborn, correct? We have. Who are you? I am Tertius Longinus, the last of seven Praetorians sworn to protect the world from the wrath of the firstborn. Do you seek the secret of the Pyxis? We do. Tell us what you know. Hidden here, among the guards of the depraved governor, Vicus Cassus, we watched as he turned Al-Kali into a carnival of decadence and depravity. The firstborn had enticed Vicus to open the breach, and while it busied itself with fresh meat, my brothers and I traveled deep into the Pyxis to perform the rites to collapse the breach. We seek the same knowledge. The breach has been opened again. Tell us what to do. You realize the price you pay for coming here? We do. No! Bullshit! There has to be another way! The cycle will continue until the firstborn possesses that which its creator refused to give it. That which mankind takes for granted! Freedom! Freedom is merely the absence of chains, just as evil is the absence of love. I don't understand. If not freedom, what does the Firstborn want? We have nothing to give it! Then the cycle will continue! Jones, get out of there! Let go! How do we break the cycle? What does the Firstborn want? God damn it! Do something! Vicus, you seek Vicus! He alone can open the breach that leads to the heart of the Pixis! Jones, break the link! You have to let go! Where? Where do we find Vicus? He's dying! Damn you, let him go! Follow the waters! Find the waters and you find the breach! Enough already! Don't do anything that stupid again. Ugh, that was worse than having Ross in my head. No offense. I don't see any water around here. What did he mean? An aqueduct, maybe? I doubt it. The only water you're likely to find out here will be under the ground in a well or... A bath? Or traps, sir. The floor mechanism appears safe. The marks on the floor say we should stand on these. Question is, do we trust them? Wait here. Holding. Interesting. I think these tiles on the floor trigger the mechanism. Advance. Check! Alpha, you're on point. I'll send you a postcard. Advance to waypoint, Alpha. Okay. Omega team, move up. Don't wait for me. To spread out and stand on each tile. Let's go. Initiating now, sir. Inside my head! Uh, won't you come closer? My eyes have grown so weak over time. <sighs> Jesus. Is that magic I smell amongst you? Why, this isn't another batch of outsiders come to ruin our party, is it? Oh, I love your kind more than any other. The sport is almost as satisfying as the 
Where's the flesh? I got first dibs on the fat man. He's all yours. I'm not getting anywhere near him. And what's this? You bring witches with you too? <laughs> you honor me. It's been so long since I tasted of both sexes. Sir? Sir, the construction of this floor, sir. Let's begin, shall we? It's a trap, sir! No! in heaven. It's beautiful. Where's the rest of the city? This is it. This is Al-Kali as it first existed. This is the beginning. Then that must be the reason we're here. It doesn't exactly look like the seed of all evil to me. It's not a seed. It's a cocoon. The real evil is inside. If we can banish the cocoon, we banish the firstborn. So what now? We climb. It's Leech! Look! Damn it! He's around! Hurry! Jonesy, you okay? Heal yourselves, brothers and sisters. You are welcome here. Who's there? Show yourself! I am Antaduranu, the founder of your brotherhood. I have waited eons to pass on my knowledge so that you may seal the wound and banish this abomination from our world. Then you know why we're here. We've been sent to close the breach. Yes, as were the priests of this temple. The High Priestess Arishkagal was seduced by the Firstborn through her dreams and taught the blood rites that opened the breach. She led an army of 10,000 across the desert from the city of Ur to build this temple. And when the construction was complete, she slaughtered them all. As their blood ran down the steps of the temple, the breach was opened and the firstborn walked the earth again. But we seven had disguised ourselves amongst her army to follow her into the Pyxis. What happened to the others? Lost all of them. Enraged by our betrayal, Erishkigal unleashed the power of the Firstborn to transform the others into the demons that now guard her. 
Only I escaped to close the breach and seal the Pyxis. I knew that my seal would not last forever, so with the last of my power, I sent a message out. I commanded my disciples to establish a sacred order to hold vigil and guard against the return of Arish Kigel and the Firstborn. Jericho. That is but one of the names our order has worn through the eons. Though the name may change, the sacred duty, your duty, remains the same. You must close the breach or the Firstborn will take revenge on mankind. Tell us how. The demons that guard the temple have each claimed a piece of me. Slay them and reassemble me so that I can reseal the breach and then the world will be safe again. Until the next time. We won't fail you. We've come too far for that. Congratulations, it's a boy. You have succeeded in your sacred duty. Your sacrifice for mankind will never be forgotten. What happens now? I will bind myself to the breach. Once the gateway is closed, we will sleep until we are called on to guide our brothers and sisters once again. Will we... will we dream? It is a dreamless sleep. And in joining us, you will share in the knowledge of all who have come before you, and be one with them. Our peace will only be broken when evil men again seek the first war. I must go now. The breach widens. I guess this is it. It's been a pleasure serving with you, Xavier. Hold on to me, Frank. Ross, can you hear me? I'm here. What's gonna happen to you? I don't know. Whatever it is, it's gonna be much worse than this. Are you scared? Are you? No. Simone, are you okay? I'm okay, sir. I'm sorry I brought you into this. You deserve better. Would you like to pray with me? I'm an atheist, sir. I guess not, then. He's lying! What? I said he's lying. You believe that bullshit about a dreamless sleep? Am I the only one that's been paying attention? Look, I understand your apprehension, but... What about the others? The Templars? The Centurion? They're not dreaming. They're not one with the great beyond. They're losing their minds in purgatory, exactly where we're gonna find ourselves when he closes that breach. That bastard is lying through his gold fucking teeth. What are you suggesting? We fight. If I'm gonna die here, I'm gonna die with my hands around the throat of whatever waits on the other side. I can't let you do that. Don't even think it. Stop it! Both of you! Get out of the way, Billy! Wait, let's just think about this a minute, okay? Uh, maybe he's right. We have a sacred duty to perform. Sacred duty, my balls! We've been lied to, asshole! And I'm starting to think you've been in on it the entire time. Black, secure Delgado! What if he's right? Something doesn't make sense. I gave you an order. Damn it, Paul. Would you listen to me? I'm the ranking officer here. No, you're not. What the hell do you think you're doing, Ross? He's going to destroy everything. There's a whole world outside full of innocent people. You think your life isn't worth saving that? 
I think he's right, Paul. Have you lost your fucking mind? My mind is the only thing I haven't lost today. Where the hell are we? We're at the bottom of a huge chasm. Spectral analysis indicates a massive unstable energy source nearby. Nice of you to join us. I never was very good at following orders, holy or otherwise. Cole, can you give me a location on that energy source? It's moving fast and closing on us. It's going to come out of that tunnel, sir. At last, the final pieces of the puzzle. Is this what it is to have a soul? Draw light insects to the light of power only to be added to my own. Cole, scan him for weaknesses. The rest of you, let's keep him talking. Sir! You're not gonna find us as easy to drain his leech. Possibly. But anything worth more. having is worth fighting for. And after I've absorbed your power. power I will finally have enough to break, break free of freedom. this prison. Now, come to me. Sir, I believe he is going to channel our powers against us. However, if you're currently in possession of... Started this. Let me finish it. Oh. 